Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. So it's Sunday morning so we're going to do some cooking this morning and I'm going to show you one of my favorite breakfast foods slash non-breakfast foods. Um, I like them for breakfast because you make a bunch of them and then you can uh, munch on them all day long because you've always got some extra if you're like me and make plenty extra. Asher, with it's either in or out. Please quit going through the doggy door. I'm trying to make a video. So anyways, what we're going to start with is we've got some crescents from Pillsbury. So some of you probably already know where this is going. Some of you probably don't know. We're going to open up our crescents here. And crescents are actually a Austrian thing. I always thought they were French. But come to find out, they're Austrian. Crescents are actually croissants. So we're going to unroll these, and I know my Aunt Peg's probably really enjoying the cooking videos. We're going to roll these like so. Now, we're going to be using Eckridge Little Smokies for what we're doing here. So we're making pigs in a blanket, if you didn't already figure that out. So since we have average size small wieners, and we have a very large pieces of croissant, what we're going to do is we're going to cut these triangles down, right down the middle here. We're going to make them smaller, because they're awfully big for our average size wieners. So this will give us a smaller, there we go. They don't have to be perfect. You smear them around as you put them on. Cut this one this way. Not the best at cutting. Never was in school. The teacher always said that I had uh, fat fingers and I was never going to have very good motor skills and never be really creative. They kept telling my parents, but I think I beat that pretty well. I think I'm pretty creative. For those of you who have been following the channel, we're just going to lay our strips over there so we get a little space to get some wings out. You can leave a few big if you want, if you want more puff around your wiener. Alright, so we're going to start with this one. Now this is like putting cable on a dragline drum. You want to get it the right way when you start. You want to you start with that wide part against your wiener and end up with just that little thin spot there. When you put cable on a crane, you want to twist it a certain direction so that when it wraps around the drum, it ends up wrapping right. Believe it or not, if you don't twist it properly, is to twist the cable, it'll wrap up towards one side, not the other. That's not what you want. So there we go. We're just going to keep doing that. Let's take our strips of croissant. We also want to get our oven pre-lit and up to 375 degrees because we're going to cook crescents to what the tube says. This is uh, 375. We're going to just use the directions off of there and We'll add just a little bit of time just to warm our wieners up inside. We'll roll this up. My grandma makes these quite a bit and that's where I learned how to make them. She don't cut her croissants up like I do. She probably has a nicer way of doing it, but hey, it works. As long as you're as long as they're nice and rolled up just like that. So what I do is I take parchment paper. Use parchment paper. You don't like to have a burnt croissant on the bottom. So put uh, parchment paper on my cookie sheet here, a round cookie sheet. And just sit those on like so. Just like that. Space them out a little bit because they're going to puff up and expand. And then we can put that in the oven. Let me make a couple more here. You want to have some uh, some honey mustards always good with these. 
I like to dip them in a little honey mustard when I'm done. But like I said, it's a gift that keeps on giving all day long. You know, you get done with breakfast, you eat however many you want. I'll probably make some eggs and bacon too. But uh, it's like a breakfast appetizer, I suppose. But you can uh, come back to these throughout the day and eat them and eat them as brunch, a little snack throughout the day, or something like that. That one I got a little thin, but it, it'll be all right. You don't have to use the Pillsbury brand. That's just what was handy at the store. And these are actually the, uh, the, uh, the these are the honey butter ones. I found that the honey butter ones are the, I think, the best, honestly. Uh, 9 to 12 minutes. So you want to do a, a strong 12 minutes when you cook yours. Got the coffee pot going. That's what that sound is in the background there. Oh, this one. That, you know what we're going to do? We're going to make one big one. I'll show you. If, you're, if your dough is too big, you just get too big of a roll around your wiener. And then it's just, it's just, it's all, all dough and not enough wiener. So, all right. I'm going to get these stuck in the oven and we'll have a look at them when they're done. Well, let's have a look at them since we're midway through. Oh yeah, them are looking nice. Yeah, looking real good. So, got the oven oven uh, tuned up just right. Got me a nice cup of coffee here in my uh, cow mug. Drinking out of cow mugs today since we're going to get some cows on the farm. Just got to go pick them, or Cousin Matt's actually going to deliver them. So, once those are done, we'll get these thrown in. And uh, then we will eat. All right, it's time. They've cooked long enough. Let's have a look at them. Oh, look at those. Oh, man, those are going to be good. Okay, we're going to throw those up there. We're going to grab our other pan full. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Let that door slam. My grandma does that sometimes. It shakes the whole house. Uh, so we're gonna let them cook, and then uh, we'll get them out, and then we can eat. Okay, second batch is done. We'll get them out. Oh yeah, them turned out nice. You can see the pans already empty because we've ate most of them already. While we we're waiting on them. Well, I wanted to do a quick breakfast this morning since uh, we're going to be getting the cows. So we didn't have a lot of time here at home. So I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to cut it open so you can see the, the side profile of that. Oh wow, look at that. That's just, that's nice. So I'm going to, mmm, a little hot, but good. Mmm, really good. So. Anyways, thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you enjoy these cooking videos. I think uh, I think they're fun to do, and I think the humor is better than the actual uh, cooking of them. It's just fun to make them and fun to make some jokes along the way. So thank you for watching. Hopefully everybody has an enjoyable Sunday. We're going to go unload some cows and, and uh, get them situated at uh, my parents' place and uh, start making us some uh, steaks. So, see y'all in the next one. Okay, Asher, since you were so good and you stayed in the house and you didn't make a bunch of noise going through the doggy door, I've got something for you. You ready? You want a pig in a blanket? There you go. Uh, he's going to go hide that under the couch, I guess. No, nope, he's going to eat it. <laughs>